it's your girl Neek. I'm gonna bring to you a segment in my videos called Neek's Hot Topics. This particular one, I was watching the HBO show Insecure. And a scene came on with her co-star and she had been dating this guy and they had been on several dates. They had been intimate several times. Okay, so they both kind of shared like a story of a same-sex experience. The girl shared how one time she was in college, you know, she messed with one of her college friends and it was just that, a one-time thing. Then the guy shared... When I was 20, kind of had a sexual experience like yours. What'd you mean? I messed around with a guy before. What, you do what? I mean, it was like a long time ago. My friend and I were at this party in New York. I was super drunk. Went back to his place and, you know, just... Kind of happened. W what kind of happened? You went down on me. Oh, so you're like, bye? No. No, definitely not. I mean, I'd never done anything like this before, and I knew afterwards it wasn't for me. Uh, like, 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 like how long after? Uh... Like, immediately. Okay, so as you can see, immediately when it happened, he knew for a fact that wasn't his thing. He wasn't down with that kind of thing. So my question is, could you be with a guy who told you he had a one-time male-on-male experience? Mind you, they had already been dating. She already had feelings involved. She was already feeling him, digging him. You know, she tried somebody else, came back to him. So she was pretty interested in this guy. If up until he told her that he had a male-on-male -male experience and then immediately she was just like, oh, psh, I, I can't do it. You know, would you feel like you immediately want to end it? Would you respect him for his honesty because most men are not honest about that? Like, how would you feel? So I'm going to share some of the opinions of my Facebook and then you let me know um, in the comments, like, you know, what you think. So the first comment I got was from Lita. She said, it will be the last date, lol. And I'm like, but he said it only happened one time. She said, damn man, lol, I will feel some type of way after that, like shit. He might want to try it again or something. I don't know. Hell no, nah, I couldn't do it. He gave in my eyes. So Angela commented and she said, He's genuine. If all my requirements are met in him, we all have regrets slash lessons learned. We want honesty, right? Donine commented with the fist and the angry face emojis like deuces. Momo said, I don't think I could do it. Immediately turned off. Majorelle commented and she said, It's a no for me, dog. Randy's voice. That will forever bother me and having me think something. So instead of racking my brain about it, just got to let it go. Fine and all. <laughs> Candy shared and she said he should have taken that to his grave. Janie commented and she said, "Woo, that's too much. You already have to make sure your man don't cheat with a female, let alone a man. That's almost like a man beating you and saying he not going to do it again. And the minute he get mad, poop upside your head. Nah, I'll pass. So basically what she's saying is, because the guy said like, oh, I'll never do it again, I knew immediately. So I guess she feels like the minute he get the urge to mess with another man, he'll do it again. Then Marcy commented and she said, hell yeah, I date him. You know why? Because a man that would admit that to you is less likely to hide anything else. I can put money on it that a good 90% of the men had homosexual experiences, maybe not as adults, but a lot of them had and will never tell you and take that shit to the grave. I agree with Marcy 100%. I myself, I believe that there are a huge amount of men who have either had a homosexual experience with a man or that dibble and dab on the down low and are carrying on relationships with women. I don't know if I can say that it's 90% of the men who've had a homosexual experience, but I do believe that it is a large amount of men who have had a homosexual experience. And a lot of women will come and they'll be like, I would never date a guy on the down low. I would never date a guy that's gay. Honey boo boo, let me tell you. Somebody that you've been with has been on the DL. And you, Mama Sita, are just in denial. I know for a fact, you know, and I'm pretty, like, my gaydar is pretty high. You know, I like to, you know, 
I like masculine men, you know, manly men and all that. Like if a guy is feminine, I don't want to date him. That just doesn't turn me on. Like I like my men to be men. With that said, as heightened as my gaydar is, I too have had an experience with a man who, you know, I came across a message that looked like there was some frisky business that could have taken place. And one day maybe I'll go into that story, but I say this to say, you never know. So all the women who may comment and say, no, I know, I know, I know, Psh, you probably didn't slip. You probably done slept with a man who has been with another man, or you're probably laying next to one right now. And I got a comment one time from somebody who said something of those lines. And every time I look at her boyfriend, I'm like, honey, you sure? <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, so, um, you know, I'm going to bring more topics like this. Feel free to comment below. I really want to hear your feedback. What, do you, what would you do? Like, what would you do in that situation? Let me know. And stay tuned. This video was brought to you by LeClaireCouture.com.